Welcome to Digits, I'm Simon Constable. The president's done it, the Pope has done it, and let's be honest, we've all done it. We've taken selfies and posted them online. When so many people are taking part in the same behavior, what can we learn about our culture and technology? Joining us now is Professor Lev Manovich from the Graduate Center at the City University of New York. He has studied the science behind the selfie. Welcome to Digits, welcome to WSJ Live. Thank, Thank you, you so much for, Thank for being here. You've analyzed data uh, around the, the, the taking of selfies. Why, before we get into what the findings are, why, why did you do that? So, you know, around 2005, the social media started to emerge, and I immediately thought that it gives us a completely new way to study society with social cultural patterns by looking at millions of images people take of themselves, people take of others, the way people comment about the movies. So our first social media project was released last summer. It was called Photo Trails. We downloaded 2.3 million Instagram photos from 13 global cities and did a very kind of general comparison looking at the colors and textures. And we said, okay, now let's compare apples and apples. Let's select photographs of particular type. So I assembled a larger team between San Diego, New York, and Germany, seven people. And we tried different ideas, you know, food, and eventually we said, let's do selfies, because we had the feeling the selfies are going to come big. And, and they did become And big. they did. If, if three months later, after we started, as we know, Oxford uh, Dictionary uh, selected selfies as a word of the year. So we just a little bit before the curve. And, and famously, some, some big politicians have, have been to fu fu funerals and taken selfies of themselves, which, which caused a bit, in some cases, a bit of an outrage. So you, you noticed that men over 30 take more selfies than women. Is, is that because men over 30 are vain? Or what, what conclusion do you draw? Yeah. yeah, that was one of, I would say, more surprising things we found. In general, people think that all selfies are taking buying people. It's largely true. So there's a large peak around 23, 25, there's maybe only between 8 and 12% of selfies of people past 30. And we did find that, surprisingly, there are more selfies from men in this category than women. Now, I personally think it's not because women who are 30 plus don't take selfies. I and mean, we walk around New York, you see people taking away pictures in bars and clubs all the time. I think we just don't post them publicly for whatever reason. Maybe we just share them with friends. Okay, and that, that of course is just your conjecture here yeah, because exactly. you, don't, you don't have the data. Because I mean, it's, my it's idea of project is not give you like interpretations, my idea is to give you some findings and then everybody is welcome to interpret it. What about the five cities you picked? Why did you pick that? So, you know, we kind of thought let's take one city from every continent. And when, you know, I was born in Moscow, our main designer, Moritz Stefaner, is from Germany. So Europe got two cities. So we have Moscow, Berlin, New York, Sao Paulo, and Bangkok. Now, we also originally had Tokyo, but we found the rate of selfies on Instagram from Tokyo was so small, we haven't included it. It's not because people in Japan don't take selfies, we just use their own local networks more than Instagram. What, what characteristics did you find from, from each city? Because we know that cities have very distinct cultures that, that really, even often apart from the countries they're in as well. Absolutely. So I think a big research question was, is the cultural differences you know, still exist? Or do technologies like mobile photos, you know, Instagram, Facebook, kind of create some global visual style? And I was happy to find significant cultural differences. And what was also interesting, every city was unique on some dimension. For example, Moscow, the average age was, uh, sorry, New York, the average age was the oldest, 26. Bangkok was the youngest, around 21. And also both female and male in Bangkok were very similar. Uh, the woman in Sao Paulo, we kind of turned their head much more than any other place. Uh, so every place. So they tilt their head. We tilt their head, yeah, in a very yeah. dynamic way. It's almost like dancing with a camera. And then, of course, Moscow was a kind of Moscow was the most outlier. I'm not surprised. So there's almost five times more female selfies than male selfies in Moscow. Ah, interesting. Whereas New York is maybe only 1.5. So why is this? Be, we've seen people, people do this. Why has it become so popular? It, is it because it's just easy to do? Because we can, we, we've now got these, and we don't. I mean, a camera used to be something that was big, a good one anyway, and it was cumbersome and a bit tricky to use. Now, is it because these are just easy to use? I think it's one reason. Obviously, you know, if, if, a, if a mobile phone manufacturer wouldn't start putting front-facing camera, it wouldn't happen. So it is a little bit of artifact of technology, but I think there are many reasons. So I think celebrities and people who are in the spotlight are probably taking their selfies and also have a whole photo stream on Instagram because it gives them a chance to present themselves as we like it 
as opposed to the way paparazzi like it. We also find that the average age in our database of selfies was almost the same as the average age of people on a popular dating, ne or popular dating network of KCupid. Ah. So obviously it has something to do with dating and looking for a partner, and maybe that also explains why the average age in New York is older. Maybe people come to New York to do their career, like, and then after a while, like, I'm going to look for a partner. In Bangkok, you know, they're doing it at the age of 21. Interesting. Well, uh, this has been great. Uh, Lev Manovich, we appreciate your time. But you, you, should, you should have a selfie Absolutely. with me, right? We should have to do that now. Anyway, there we go. There's the selfie. There's Lev Manovich. I'm Simon Constable, and that's it.